this is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I have my hand covering this section here which just has my address details but I just thought I would show you that this this parcel came in this big brown box because apparently Diamond Art Club have run out of their signature boxes. I just thought it was funny. Anyway, <laughs> taking that off camera. I'm here today to do an unboxing of my latest couple of purchases from Diamond Art Club which I will show you now. Firstly, my favourite single places came back into stock, so I bought a number of those and they've gone out of stock again. I think the words got out and people are buying them a lot. So snap one up if you get a chance. I have been buying Foxy Lady and Incat Nito. These came out a couple of weeks ago now. Well, a week and a half or so ago. And Foxy Lady was one of those paintings that I was looking at and I was instantly drawn to. And it's it's a funny one because like all of this grey white section actually isn't my favourite thing to do because I like bright colours so I'm really going for it because of the rainbow effect. So we'll see how I get on with it but I just I kept looking at it, kept looking at it, kept looking at it. It was really popular and sold out in the early release so when it came out to general release, release I just thought yeah I'm going to regret it if I don't pick it up. I keep going back to look at it, that means something. And then in Catnito, I mean I've got to be honest, I did sort of add it largely because I wanted to make up the amount to the free shipping limit but I very much did like this painting as well. It's tiny and that really appealed because I'm just I'm really enjoying working on smaller projects at the moment that I can get through a little bit quicker but anyway that is what I've got to show you today so I'm going to take the wrapping off them and then we'll get stuck in which one shall I look at first eeny meeny miny mo <laughs> no I'll, I'm going to look at foxy lady first and probably spend a little bit longer on that and then I'll take a quicker look at incatnito afterwards so my box is a little bit squished up at the bottom, but that's okay, that just needs popping in. So this is an interesting one, like I say it's it's not my usual style necessarily. Um, it's not the first one from this artist at Diamond Art Club and I haven't been particularly drawn to the others. But that rainbow tail, I just couldn't stop looking at it. The artist I should say sorry is Camilla Derrico. It's a square dime painting and it's 42.8 by 42.8 centimetres, so really quite a decent size, but there is a thing about that that I will get to. <laughs> Let me put my sticker on the side of the box. I'll have a quick whiz through this toolkit and then probably leave the other one for another time. I don't have very long before I have to go on the school run. Plus my camera battery is low, so <laughs> it'll stop me wittering on for too long. So, as usual, there is a tray and stopper, two multi-placers, seven and four placer, very handy to have, a bag of baggies, a cover minder, I've got this cute little rabbit, a little strawberry, <laughs> and a uh, Yep, yeah, those have got glued together. This does happen sometimes. It's fine. I have some other magnets that I'll pop one on the back. I've got a caddy with two plates of heart-shaped wax. I've got a pen and comfort grip tweezers because it's a square and some washi tape. That was a very quick run through for me. <laughs> I'm not messing around today. <laughs> it's because I'm paranoid that my battery is going to run out anyway. Let me pop those away and I'll get on with looking at the painting. So, if I can get into the bag, I will show you this lovely painting. And I'll mention the other thing that I was going to tell you that I thought about with the size. So you always get a thank you for purchase leaflet with Diamond Art Club which takes you through tips and tricks, what's included and some discount codes so well worth checking out particularly if this is your first purchase from them. It's two sticker sheets. <laughs> if, you've, if you've bought from Diamond Art Club before you might know what that means. So remember I said this painting is 42.8 by 42.8 cent 42 centimetres. It's got 74 colours. 
And I've got to be honest, this was another reason that I actually held back from buying it. Um, originally at least, because that's going to mean an awful lot of confetti in a painting this small. But in the end I decided it is still small overall, so it's not going to be confetti overkill because there's just not that much of it. And I love it, so I'm going to get it. Excuse me while I let the cat out. But yeah, I am really, really intrigued by why a painting like this, where a lot of it is whites and greys, at face value has got so many colors but you know how it goes with good quality done paintings there will be shading and actually in the picture there is if you look at it I had to stop again because the door rang what was I saying yeah if you look at it although you look at it and you just see white and gray there is a lot of detail in the fox's fur and the background as well also has shading and then all the gradation of colors in the tail Sander. to stop again because the cat was scratching at the door so <laughs> hopefully I'll have edited out all the interruptions but please excuse me if this is a bit disjointed yes yeah, so there's going to be lots and lots of shading bringing that detail and I'm really intrigued to see how that works out so there's three ABs Aurora Borealis drills with DMC codes under 150 and there is a fairy dust drill that Z preceding a DMC code, that is a fairy dust drill for Diamond Art Club. So yeah, let's have a look. Oh, look at those rainbow colors. Beautiful. I'm just gonna open it up off camera so that you don't have to hear so much crinkling and then I'll have a quick look. Okay, so I'm just gonna see what I can find in terms of special drills rather than going through them all and here is that fairy dust drill now I'm not sure how much of it you can see so I'm moving it around so it catches the light fairy dust drills are quite subtle it's like a glitter effect on top of the drill and I haven't worked with any yet although I have them in a few paintings and I think it's going to be gorgeous I love this teal color too I love teal in general and then in here there is 141, probably the most common AB colour that you see in Diamond Art Club paintings. 132, a beautiful bright orange. And what's the last one? The green colour. Ah, here it is. There's the last one. So, four special drills and just a rainbow of colours. Now, as you can imagine, <laughs> there's quite a lot of some of these greys and neutrals. But, looking through that, you can just still see this bright rainbow of colours. That is exactly why I had to buy this painting. Okay, I'm going to put that away. I'm definitely trying to keep things snappy today. <laughs> So if, if you think I'm racing along, normally I do take longer over unboxings than this. I'm just up against it time-wise today. But maybe some people will enjoy that. Okay, I'm going to fold it back on itself. It feels so small and this is the bigger of the two paintings I got. So yeah, rolling it back on itself just to flatten it. One little crease in the corner there, but that's fine. That's not even the painting area. Here it is. It is so cute. I, like, I knew it was small, but I still can't believe how small it is. Wow. And first impressions looking at this are that the confetti is not as mega as I was thinking. Like, don't get me wrong, there is a lot of confetti in this piece. <laughs> but it's not quite as bonkers as I thought it would be. Let me bring you in a bit. So just have a little bit of a close-up at this central section. You can see through that the, there's loads of different colours in the tail. 
but they're in sections they're not really just a drill here a drill there the kind of confetti that kind of does my does my head in after a while and there's even some smallish sections here that will be blocking so yeah I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised by that it, like when you look at this you would not think this was a 74 painting colour no 74 colour painting I love the fox's eyes the way they glow against all that background And actually all that background as well will go quite quickly. It's sort of um, semi-colour blocking itself, isn't it? Lots and lots of sections where I'll at least be able to use my multi-placer. I'm wondering how on earth they've done it. <laughs> Fit 74 colours into a painting this size without it being an absolute nightmare of confetti. Their hand rendering at Diamond Art Club is just second to none for me. So let's have a look, where are those ABs? So symbol one is the orange AB, and I see that around here, no surprises, in the orangey sections, the eyes and the tail. Then symbol number two is the green, and again, I'm looking straight at the green sections of the tail, and there it is. The dot is the white AB, and that is highlighting the wolf up here. The wolf, the fox. <laughs> It's because it's grey and my brain doesn't function. <laughs> but yeah, lots of white bits in the fox to accent him. He's going to be beautiful. And then lastly, that fairy dust drill is a tea in a teal colour. And I see that over here. Do I see anywhere else? No, I don't think I do. And, and there wasn't a lot of it. So not a painting that's particularly peppered with special drills. But then it is, it is on the small side anyway, so it's relative, isn't it? So yes, that is Foxy Lady. I'm really pleased I got it actually looking at it. I made the right call. I definitely, definitely want to work on this one. Um, I'll have to try and figure out how to do it. I might have to work on it sideways so that I'm doing a row and I get some colours and then some greys and then colours and then some greys. Because normally I'd work on a painting like this bottom to top but I don't think I want to have half a painting that is almost entirely grey <laughs> when I get to that point. Okay so if this did go out of stock on release day but if you're interested in it you can sign up to get notifications for when it comes back so just check it out on Diamond Art Club's website if that is something you're interested in. Right I'm going to put this away and have a look at Incat Nico. So this is without doubt the smallest painting I've ever bought from Diamond Art Club. It is 32.8 by 32.8 centimetres and the artist is Pixie Sticks and it's round diamonds. And you can sort of see from the picture I'm expecting there to be quite a lot of colour blocking in this one. I picked it up as I say as an extra but also of course because I liked it. And I was kind of thinking it would be a good one to take away with me like we, when we go on holiday to my parents caravan in the summer and space is limited. I want to take diamond painting with me, but I can't take my big ones. So yeah, this, this sort of painting would be really good for that. So, oh, put the box down before I put my sticker on. So I'm not gonna bother looking through this toolkit because it's gonna be exactly the same as the other one except that the cover minder and the washi tape and the colour of the pen will vary a bit and it won't have tweezers because it's a round kit but most of you have probably seen these a million times before. I'm gonna get straight into the painting. Now I'm not sure if this one is still in stock or not. I'll check and put it up on the screen. Um, but it isn't limited edition. Diamond Art Club have actually stopped doing that. Um, so what they're doing now is they're releasing all paintings as normal. And then if a painting doesn't sell well, then it may become limited or final edition. But if it sells really well, they're going to restock it at some point down the line, which will help avoid a bit of the FOMO that a lot of us Diamond Art Club fans suffer from sometimes. So there's my thank you leaflet. And let's take a little look at this. So 37 colours, which again is not too shabby for a small painting. I've got three ABs and a fairy dust drill again, which looks like it might be a very similar one to the colour on, on Foxy Lady. So yeah, a nice range of colours there. 
and let's have a little look. Okay, here is my fairy dust drill. Again, it's not the easiest to see in the pack. Um, I would take it out and put it in my um, tray so you could see it properly, but to be honest, I just, I'd worry about how to store it all again afterwards, so I'm not gonna do that. But you can see the ABs fairly clearly. So there's one for one. I feel like we've got largely the same ABs in this one as we did in the last. Mm, what else? I'm looking for two shades of green, it looks like. Okay, there's one through five. Just bringing that into focus. So just a tiny bit of that one. And... 108 is the last one and it's eluding me. Ah, there it is. There you are, that's 108. That's a colour I don't think I've had before as an AB. That's really nice. I quite like darker colour DMCs in AB form because they tend to have really, really pretty coverings to turn them into an AB. Right. <laughs> this is so minuscule. I, don't, I was thinking, I've got those Amazon exclusives that I unboxed recently, so I wonder if this is the smallest, but I think it's it's at most the same size as those. I don't think it's bigger. Anyway, it's nice to have a few proper snack size ones in my stash now. Okay, I'm just going to do this to flatten it a little bit further. The problem with the small ones is that there's not very much room in the box for things like the toolkit. So they do tend to get a little bit more squished than maybe some of the bigger canvases. There we are. That's good enough for you to see. So here it is. Isn't it really, really cute? I love cats. I, I really love cats. I mean, you might have guessed that from my channel name, although that is also a derivative of, of my main name. My main name? My name. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do love cats as well. And I just found this little guy so adorable. The artist Pixie Sticks has a cat that looks like this. So he's the inspiration for this painting. Um, yeah, and I just think it's really, really super adorable. And it is, like I said, probably going to work up really quickly. There's lots of areas of blocking around the edges. Lots of lovely shading still too. But yeah, there's nothing in here that I think is going to take too much time. I think this is about the closest you get to confetti from looking at it. Maybe a little bit in the plants as well. Plants are always confetti. But yeah, it's really sweet. I love the colour teal, as I think I said before, so I really, really am drawn to paintings that have that colour palette. And then also the juxtaposition of the black cat amidst all this colour just like popping out. So quick AB check, symbol number one. Um, there's some of that up in this plant here. Is there any in this one? I'm not sure. No, there is the two AB here. The symbol two is in this one different plants with different colourways and then the dot is the white AB and there's quite a lot of that. A couple of flowers up here and then all in this column and along here so lots and lots of white ABs and then this slash is the fairy dust drill and there's loads of that that's all around here. So this is a good one if you like your special drills because relative to the size that is a lot of special drills included in it. He's so cute. I can't wait to work this one up. I do love Diamond Art Club round drills as well. I, I prefer squares in general, but I actually don't mind with Diamond Art Club because I love the way their round drills sparkle. And I'm just imagining how gorgeous it's going to be, how sparkly the black cat's going to be, and then all those special drills popping out. I think it's going to be really fun. Okay, so that is it from me today. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at these with me. Um, yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like on it. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd love to have you along. Um, 
and otherwise I will see you next time. Bye bye!